Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, I'm going to share a few advanced techniques to help take your Doodly videos to the next level. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. If you want more from your Doodly videos, then come along on a journey of discovery as we break down what's possible in Doodly. There are many different techniques that you can use in Doodly, and today we're going to go over just a few of them. The first one is to create interesting compositions. You aren't limited to using only doodly characters. You'll see that by adding an imported frame and an imported graphic, the scene suddenly becomes much more visually interesting. Next, and I say this a lot, you want to adjust the timing of the individual elements. By default, this scene here is about 18 seconds long. It has gonna be way too long. We only have a few seconds to capture a viewer's attention. First, I'm gonna go ahead and delete that little title screen I had. So let's just take a preview of what it's like right now. I have the hand drawing on the frame and then he scribbles on the photo. And that's three seconds each, so that was six seconds. And then he comes on here, got the words in, and then he's doing three seconds per characters. And that's what we have. It took 18 seconds to get that. We're gonna cut it down dramatically. I do like the illusion of the hand drawing the frame. I just don't like three seconds of it. So I think one second will be sufficient. And then our image of this man holding a whiteboard. I wanna click on the pencil icon. And rather than have it coming on diagonally like that, I really like the fade option. So you get a reveal mode and fade, and then it just fades in. So now I have the, the frame coming on for one second, and then this fades on. I don't think we need to do a full three seconds on it. Let's do a second and a half. And then we have our words come on, and I think that's fine. Let's put a little bit of time between there. And then let's shrink down the length of the characters. We'll try two seconds each. We're down to about 13 seconds. I think we can go a second and a half. They're small. Let's see how that looks. And that looks pretty good. It's still a little long for my taste though. So what if we go half a second, one second, one second, Okay, I think that will be fine. We've almost cut it in half, not quite, but we did cut it down significantly. Now I mentioned this earlier, that fade effect is really nice. And I want to point out that whenever you have an imported graphic, if you wanna take your videos to the next level, you definitely wanna go in here, clicking your icon, and either choosing the fade option like I did here, or going in and doing individual drawing paths. And what do I mean by individual drawing paths? Well, if we go back to draw. Instead of having it go diagonally, you could go in here and set paths, telling Doodly how you want it to draw on. So for example, if I wanted it to draw this board on first, I could do this. And I'm not gonna be very precise here because it will take a long, long time to do this. But I do wanna show you how you can get the effect of drawing it your way. The reason I like fade so much with the photos is because you know nobody really draws photos like this. So I really like that fade in effect. So now if we were to look at it with our drawing pads, we'll get a different effect. And again, I prefer the fade. It's just a matter of preference. So I'm turning it back into fade. Okay. <laughs> Next, I want you to get really comfortable with your scene settings and your video settings. Let's start down here in video settings. These control 
everything, okay? So your hand style, your background style, and so on and so forth. And you'll see here, I have already turned erase mode to off, and that's a personal preference for me. I don't like the hand erasing and putting a blank spot before the next image comes on. So I always turn that off. It's just something I automatically do. And then over here, let's go to scene settings. And another thing I always do by default is I change this from 0.5 to at least two seconds. And the reason I do that is because when you have the last image that's drawn, whether it's a character or a word, you have a half a second before the scene swipes away. And that, in my opinion, that's just not long enough to see what you just drew or what you just wrote. So I like to add two seconds so we have a little bit of time to absorb it. And depending on your scene, you may want seven seconds or 14 seconds or 50 seconds, who knows, just depending on what you're trying to accomplish with each scene. I'd like to show you one of my favorite tricks. For this, you need to upload a white rectangle and you don't want it to have a border like this, okay? So let's see, here's mine, blank white rectangle. And what am I gonna do here? Well, I'm gonna position it over my scene. And what's gonna happen is I'm gonna trick doodly into doing a little fade out. So instead of swiping away my text, Doodly is going to let it just fade out nice and gently. So what I wanna do, I have it covered, right? So next I click my little pencil icon and I do the fade thing. And if we take a look at it, you're gonna see that the text fades out. And of course the characters too. Anything that's covered by that rectangle is just gonna slowly fade away. And what's neat is now I can add more text or graphics or whatever the case may be on top of it. And now let's take a quick preview. And that's just a really cool effect, I think. And finally, did you know that you can use a custom background in Doodly? So keeping with this whiteboard theme, let's go over to freepick.com and let's type in whiteboard. And you'll see there's all kinds of different whiteboards that we could import as our background. In fact, you're probably going to recognize this one right here because that's where I got it. I like this one here. It's got the markers, but they're not in the way. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. Okay, so I've already downloaded and unzipped that file. Now, normally we would go to props and the, use the blue plus sign to upload it. Well, in this case, we want it to be our background. And so we click settings and we go over here and we click custom. And then we go custom image and we're gonna browse for our file. And here it is. Now, we want it to be sized so that it all fit onto our whiteboard. You'll notice that it's not quite the right size. I've got the blank um, transparency on the edges and I think that'll be fine. Let's go ahead and click apply. So we have a whiteboard within a whiteboard within a whiteboard. And what's neat about doing it as a background as opposed to just uploading it is when you create a new scene, it's there, okay? So let's just put something in here for the moment. Okay, so let's just take a quick preview so you can see how the transition takes place. So it goes like that. And here comes our transition. See how the images are swiped away, but the background remains static. And that's just kind of a cool effect. And those are a few of my favorite techniques. I hope they help you take your doodly videos to the next level. Thanks for watching.